Um, hey guys, this is Guillermo, and this is Adam. This oh, is, yep, um, I'm here again. <laughs> uh, fun. Today we are going to be talking about a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about last week. We So we recorded a podcast a couple of weeks back, yeah. and unfortunately it wasn't released because my audio was sounding really weird, and I mean, the yeah, basically it had to be scrapped because there was no way to edit it better. Um, so I'm hoping this one sounds right, um, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what's up. I, yeah. I keep trying to listen through them uh, through headphones, but uh, I don't know. I can't figure out what's wrong. So hopefully this one comes out right. Yeah. Yeah. Good um, on that. Get that worked. Yeah, but uh, I guess we'll quickly summarize what we talked about, like GameStop and GameStop. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of old news at this point, but yeah. we talked about that, and then we also talked about Pokemon. Yep, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> for like yeah, thirty good, minutes. Good Pokemon rant right? going. We can discuss that in a later episode we'll come back to it but yeah so we talked about that and then the final thing we talked about which is the focus of this episode will be about the show iwa kakiru or something yeah like that. it's like rock climbing something yeah something. it's something it's a sports climbing yeah girl show yeah sports um, climbing. so we can start talking about that um one of the things one thing that stood out to me almost immediately is that we, i think i don't know if you thought this too but i thought it was going to be an etchy yeah, oh, I, I definitely, just like the camera angles. And yeah. He, to be honest, like, it sort of still was, kind of, but definitely not to the extent that I thought no, it was going to uh, be. No, so, this, this anime was interesting, because I, within the first three episodes, I was like, I was like, not into it, oh, and I was wow. like, I was like, oh, fuck, this is going to suck to watch 12 episodes yeah. of this shit. Yeah, Um, But I actually, I got interested in it once they got to the competition yeah. scenes, and then I was like, oh, I'm actually into this. Yeah. And I was able to finish the show pretty easily because of the competition. Um, but the, the first three episodes are hard to watch. Yeah, no, it was one of those when I was telling you, I was like, all right, I'm going to binge it. And I was like starting out for I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to have to sit through and watch this. It's going to be so boring. Yeah. And then they get to the actual climbing. And I was like, you know, like in the competitions between all the, the girls. And I was like, OK, this is this is actually kind of cool this, the way they, yeah. the way they break it down. And so I, let's start by uh, summarizing a little bit. Um, so the anime is about this girl called I don't remember. Karu, uh, Kano, Kanorusu. Yeah, uh, something like Kasahara, 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 yeah, and uh, basically she's like this ultimate video game nerd. Well, I was actually surprised they made it like she's an ultimate video game girl, right? Yeah, and I'm like, of course, because it's yeah. anime. But then the fact that she stopped playing video games because she felt that was damaging her life was yeah. actually kind of yeah, interesting I for was, an anime. Yeah, because I was like, anime really likes to like jerk off because to that's being... you know the the sort of like anime archetype watchers yeah. like the, the nerd gamer shut in and, and sort of like her coming out of that which is yeah that was interesting it was like going from a video game nerd to an athlete no that's not an anime concept no 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 <laughs> only not um so that was interesting but anyway she wants to just join a club and she doesn't know what club to join and she sees this rock climbing wall she attempts it and then um she likes it and that, that's kind of the thing of the show is just sports climbing and learning she learns that she's actually really good at it because she's played a lot of video games and she kind of sees it as a puzzle. And uh, yeah. Now, whether that's true in real life, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I can know. look at a rock climbing wall. I don't think I'd look at it like that. But it is interesting how um, the, all the stuff I learned about rock climbing, I had no idea about anything. I had like, zero. See, like, that's something I was interested in because I was like, this is an anime about something we've never... No. No, especially, you know, where I, it's just a, a, any circle I've been in. And like, no, I don't know anybody who rock climbs. No, like, I don't either. I don't know any rock. Like, so this was a all whole new experience to mm-hmm. me. Like the, the competition. I wonder if that's, I'm sure that's how a lot of competitions actually are too. So, yeah, I'll talk, um, this is anime got me interested enough to actually yeah, want to really wanna do look, rock climbing. Yeah. And I decided to watch some YouTube videos on rock climbing. And it seems like they do have like three stages in this anime and the competitions. They have three stages, one called bouldering, one called speed climbing, and then... I don't the remember the third is. one, but bouldering is basically your standard rock climbing where you're just trying to complete as many courses. No, I think bouldering is one where it's like just the course itself, like how complicated it is, like yeah. trying to do it, like have like different holes and stuff farther mm-hmm. apart where you have to like jump, and then like the time one obviously speed. Yeah, you know? speed climbing is just. So I didn't even know that like speed climbing is like every route is exactly the same in speed climbing. So that yeah. was interesting to find out. And, yeah. uh, and then when you look up, <laughs> so I looked up real speed climbing. And it's the exact same route that they had in the anime. Wow. Which is interesting. And uh, one interesting thing is that, so in the anime, towards the end, they're really, really focusing on speed climbing, trying to get their timer down. And um, I don't know how, how high that is. But either way, one of the big things is that they're trying to get under 15 seconds, right? Um, and then I looked up real speed climbing, and they make it in like 5.5 seconds. Yeah, see, I... Six seconds. Yeah, I was I like, whoa, this is anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. So that, again, that was one of the things is like, I always find anime is the it's interesting it has the ability to sort of take mundane things and just mm-hmm. turn them into like 
because you I love it when you get to like all the different like there's the Black Panther girl from this school and she's yeah. that, and then there's the spider from this girl and then there's like all this and it's like each has had like its own archetype like yeah. even in a rock climbing anime, there has to be like the bad guy the creepy yeah. like well that was interesting though is that like so they get to the rock climbing competitions and then there's this what's supposed to be like I guess she's kind of set up as the main villain yeah but like a villain character yeah and then she's, and she's sort of yeah and then she's nothing happens no she's sort of sidetracked Maybe maybe in later seasons it will be, but no, there's only four volumes to the show. Really? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so this anime basically covered like I think almost all of it, if not like half of it at least. Wow. So this this show's short. Hmm. Um, now I don't know. I guess like it's kind of weird to yeah. set her up with that and then use the other girl as the yeah. Hmm. So they didn't. Yeah, they, there was no. There was a full setup, and then I was like, oh, something's gonna happen. And this this like last part of the of the competition and nothing ever happened no. she just kind of forgotten about it I was like, well, what was the point of building up this character for like four episodes yeah yeah i don't i don't know but uh it definitely it, it surprised me it surprised me how much i like when um oh when uh what's your face the oh hold on hold on when oh when the uh the short red-haired girl in there in the hayama group when she failed and she like started crying i was like damn i didn't think i'd feel that much i didn't think i was that invested i'm like oh god you were yeah it was like oh he was surprising that i was actually like into the show yeah i was i was unexpected like i said like we were talking about the first three episodes kind of like sort of drags and and it it does drag and i thought it was gonna be like that kind of anime where they they're like train basically the whole show yep. and then at the end they get to yep. thingy. but no they were no and i thought we were gonna have like episodes where they have like the beach episode yep. where they go and train i was waiting beach, for that in the like, end episode where they yeah. go to the spa or whatever you know because they have yeah. that one scene in the in the end yep where the... she, that they're added in and i was like this is what the show's going to be about but there was like no training nope. it was like all competition which was actually pretty fun like, yeah. there was some training but like it was more it was fun because it, it really i mean you know you take rock climbing like the interesting parts of rock climbing, obviously to people who don't, you know, do it for yeah. you as much as they want, you know, it took it and it took the most, you know, com- competition. It took the most interesting aspect and it pitted it against. So it's like you were watching sort of sport in a way. Mm-hmm. It's like you were watching people rock climb and compete. And I think that was really well done. Yeah. And, and uh, I gotta say, at first I was like, this, this anime looks cheap because the art style was not the best. Now, um, in some scenes it got pretty good, like when they're really intense in the rock climbing. Yeah. I actually thought it was pretty cool that the main character, like, she actually got muscular towards the end of the show. I love and, the uh, I love the dream, but I she's had. Oh yeah, she's, she's like, buff. Ah! <laughs> that is so. Weird. And on the train. Uh, but I was actually surprised that like she actually got buff. Yeah, no, like, I at mean at the end of the show she was. Ripped. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> animes was wouldn't risk to do that because they have you know a lot of again the whole lowly culture thing. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, oh, you know yeah, she's got to be cute or something. Yeah, but she like, like got muscular. Yeah, it? yeah, there were you know the sort of lowly people in that show, but the main character is surprising that they would go. I mean, all of them really. They are, they were, got, yeah, they were actually surprisingly like, muscular. And, yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, is probably, if you're going to rock climb and, like, to that extent, you're probably going to do it. And while there was, like, some small little, like, I guess, like, a little bit of this, but not really. No, no. There was never, like, I expect a lot of, like, ass shots. Oh, no, no. It was really, really just sort of, like, body panning, like, you know, like, they'll swing around, like, you know, starting from the bottom, come back up around to the face and circle mm-hmm. back around. I'm sure to give you that 360-degree view of, like, how... Yeah, but there was never a focus on there, like... No, no, it wasn't really... like other, like, you know, High School of the Dead or something. It was yeah. just entirely about the... I expected that to be, but I was like, yeah, I was actually kind of happy they didn't because yeah. I was actually, like, into the rock climbing. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, and part of me was like, when I was watching, I was like, man, I'm going to have to sit through an etchy anime, and I was like, ah, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard as you get older, like, as we just talked about in previous episodes. It's just, you're not as into it as you were before, so... Yeah, yeah. I, I was pleasantly surprised that it didn't turn out that way, although I do have a few cons to the show. <laughs> yeah. The fucking puns. <laughs> like, oh, I, yeah. I had to hear that <laughs> one couldn't, couldn't more see. time. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to bash my head into the wall. I'm like, I, I, to the point where it's just like, anytime I thought it was kind of just skip. <laughs> skip. I'm like, I don't, I cannot <laughs> hear this It anymore. took me a little while to get what the hell there, the pun was, the yeah. cool, yeah. it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long. Yeah, but but yeah I did not like who. No, <laughs> no. Too. I'm like, my God, just please end me. And, and only in an anime could there be like an idol that like focuses on rock the climbing. Idol. Yeah. There's nobody <laughs> really nobody like there. gives a fuck. Yeah, an, uh, a rock climbing idol. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's an idol for everything in Japan, apparently. Yeah, nobody cares about rock climbing in your life. No, but. But uh, I actually want to do rock. Like, I want to try rock yeah, climbing. Yeah, oh yeah, no. It would be something to do. No, I actually want to, like, I've never. 
always looked at them and I was like, eh, not really for me, but now yeah. I kind of like, oh, I yeah. understand a little bit of it. Yeah. I, I understand where the fun comes from now. Yeah, I know we did that. We had like a tiny one in high school. Like I know a little, we did it. Oh, yeah. Well, we had a tiny one. I did it like once, but I was, it was it was surprisingly hard. Like, I was like, wow, hang on. I just realized how little body, how little at all body strength I had. Yeah. But again, I had no idea to this extent. Like, we didn't do any of like the speed or rope or anything. Mm-hmm. It was just like, Here's a walk wall. Try to climb it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like I didn't even know the colors stood for anything. No, I just thought they were you know, colors because it would look cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they were colors. Yeah. But like even using all the colors, I think it would have been hard. Nah. Let alone like specific colors. To oh yeah, it. forget. Like if I think back on it, like again, the hell, like oh, let me go for purple. I got it and screwed. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. But yeah. So yeah, the 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 puns I was little was kind of like ah, they kind of overdid it with all the cat puns. She's like ha ha ha. Oh yeah. Like, like, oh. There were some things at the end of the day that were like a little too stereotypical. Like, like I didn't. Well, at first the, the cat girl was kind of annoying, mm-hmm. but um, I, I think she ended up being kind of interesting with the other character. What was her name? Do you remember the muscular girl? Uh, the one on the other on the main character's team, kind of on the media team. Oh, um, Uda Uda Hara June. June, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually kind of nice. Their interactions, like when June gives up on rock climbing yeah that was that was good like it, it did it had some a real emotional depth to it that i didn't yeah. think it was have or when the president was like trying to compete and then mm-hmm. that that one girl that girl with red hair was like yeah i don't want you you're never gonna rock climb for the rest of your yeah. life and like, oh they both started climbing <laughs> too much fuel yeah. yeah i was actually interested in it yeah yeah no so i i mean yeah my, my complaints are minor like i still i i would i would definitely watch the second season yeah, like if, sure. if they come out with one, if they have enough material left, I would definitely watch the second season. So yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. It was I ended up at first I didn't really you know connect with any characters, but by the end I kind of liked all of them except for yeah. the pun making ones. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like those characters, but beyond that, like yeah, I I, I, I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, so did I. I was actually surprised that like they even had like a little scene about the girl that's like a panther like yeah. that she's actually kind of scared of every time she goes out. Oh, I know, like that. She was actually funny where she's like she kept getting like the sayings wrong. Like, where there's a will, there's a something else, or she's like, you know, get, it's like the other parents like, no, it's, or the other people, or the people in the group are like, no, it's actually this. It was, I always thought that was I funny. like the zombie one. The oh, yeah. Like, the, the mm-hmm. Where there's like, a will, there's a way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but never that's so funny. <laughs> Which is, I, I would say, like, that's the way it would be for me. Like, if I was rock, I would just fall yeah. and just keep getting back up. It was like, I take pride in this, like... <laughs> I was one of the only people in Dark Souls who attacked the Black Knight twenty times to get his sword. <laughs> yeah. So. No, there's yeah, there's no way. Like my body right now cannot do oh, no. rock climbing. No, no, no. If I, if I don't I, know how high I could go. Yeah, I'd be like, because you think about like having to like, okay, so it's like you get up there and you have to hold there while you're thinking of your next move. Like my muscles, you're like, okay, it's been like fifteen <laughs> seconds. You need to do something. So. <laughs> Yeah, it would burn out real quick. Yeah. You went to, like, I don't know, I'd be scared of the heights, too, to start. Oh, yeah. So, well, you get far enough up, you're like, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're pretty safe, but still. So, that's why you got to start off just free climbing, you know, Mount Everest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> free climbing's even for... crazier. Yeah, yeah. Had oh. some free climbing scenes, but. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, my dad did a little bit of free climbing once he got up there, and he was looking down, he was, like, probably 100 feet up, and he's like, ah, I don't think I want to do this anymore, <laughs> and he had, like, his hands in, like, crud like oh, this. Oh, yeah. He finally he got over to a ledge and he's like, you know what? And he, he just sort of like took a safer way down. Like he took the oh, way over the side. That reminds me. So in high school, we used to go on this rope strip. Oh yeah, ropes. Um, yeah. And one of the things that they had was you would go up to the top of like a tree, and there was a rope, right? Mm-hmm. One from one rope to a, to another tree, yeah. and then you would cross it like. I don't yeah, know, you had to basically it. basically they had two ropes, like one on the higher up on the tree and one sort of lower on the tree, and you would. Climb, you would get up on the tree and then you would put your feet on the lower part of the rope and you'd hang, you'd grab the higher part of the rope and you'd like move across it. Yeah. Dude, I, I did it one time and I was so fucking scared. Because I'm, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of hikes, but that, that time I was like, no, I got to beat this fear. I want to beat, I could, I mean, I made it across, but my legs were like so shaky. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Because even while I'm up there, I'm like, I'm embarrassed because I'm shaking this yeah. much, but I can't stop. Yeah. Like even like, I was trying to like, process didn't think through the fear like you're not in you're, there's nothing that no, you're happen. harnessed in you're, you're fine har- yeah but like i could not beat the no. i mean I, was, I didn't stop which was nice but like i i couldn't beat that now yeah. i mean yeah but that's the thing is like everyone like i don't really i wouldn't have much of like a fear of heights but even i it was like not enjoyable like i don't think anybody <laughs> loves besides like adrenaline junkies everybody loves being up you know 25 30 feet yeah, in the air suspended like, now i kind of regret not doing there was like the leap of faith one where you would jump Basically, from like the, the platform on the right, yeah, it was like you would go up a huge, like the highest point of the tree, and then yeah. it was just a platform, and you just jumped off, yeah. 
I regret not doing that. I kind of wish I would have done it, but I know yeah. I was too scared back I can't then. remember if I... I don't know. I don't know if I did it or not. I, I can't remember. I, I feel like if I did it, I would have remembered, so I probably didn't do it, but... <laughs> I yeah. wish I would have done it. Yeah, it was fun. There was a lot. Of, it was fun, you know, but yeah, I didn't get... And this is the other thing about the anime, sort of like overcoming your fears, you know? Yeah, they actually things. had an like, part of the episode where they were talking about, like, the fear of heights. The main character had a fear of heights mm-hmm. at one point. And that makes sense. I'm, I feel like that's something you have to... Yeah, well, if you're going to rock climb, you yeah. have to overcome that. Like, <laughs> part of that's like an inherent into the sport is just climbing up. Yeah. I mean, you could try rock climbing down. <laughs> that would be, that'd be a challenge in and of itself, honestly. But yeah. again, obviously the sport is going up, so you can't have a, a uh, fear of heights. I actually, and while the main character was kind of like overpowered, she wasn't like too crazily. No, no. I mean, it was one of those things like it, it showed like she had her like one very good skill. She was very analytical, you know, yeah. but if she had to do like a speed one, if she didn't have the time to analyze it, she was just screwed. You yeah, know? and I did like how she didn't win like everything straight on. No, like the first comp- first couple competitions, she struggled. Even yeah. if, even if she was kind of like really good, she still didn't win first place. Yeah, everything. you would. It's something you would expect. Like maybe somebody with a lot of talent for it, but doesn't have the experience. Like yeah. again, it showed her like, oh no problem. But like her body wasn't able to keep up with her mind. Like she's like, you know, she was going too hard. You could see in the stands her fellow teammates are like, ah, oh, she's going to burn out pretty soon. And she's like, oh, okay, perfect. And she gets up, like, second one and just drops yeah, off. She's yeah. like, what happened? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was actually, yeah, I didn't even, like, body fatigue. Don't make something you don't talk about in anime. No, you don't even think about it because in anime it's usually all ridiculous. And there's no such thing as body fatigue. Yeah. It's just you just, I like, train for three days and become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't slept in forever. <laughs> yeah, who needs body functions in yeah. anime? Uh, you just keep getting stronger. Yes, I actually, I recommend this show. <laughs> I would, I would say, if, if you, especially if you like Slice of Life, I think it's a very good Slice of Life. Even if you don't, even if you're not really into it, I would give it a shot. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm normally not even into, like, sports anime. No, I think this is, this is, this might be the only one I've watched. I might have watched one other one, but this is probably be the only other sports anime I've ever watched. Yeah, I've tried to watch sports anime, and I was, like, a couple episodes in, I was like, no, I can't do this. Yeah. I feel like you could see the outcome of every single in sports anyways, I feel like you can always see the outcome. Yeah, you kind of know where it's going to go. Yeah, I don't know if it's just because I've watched enough anime or you just know or the plots are too obvious. Yeah, well that's one thing I know about a lot of anime is they'll re- recycle the same characters yeah. and plots. There's always like the guy that is super attractive, the best at everything. Yeah. That one's main. The main character is always like a guy that was formerly the best yep. that they're trying to recruit back into the team. Yep. Or, and he doesn't want to because he had like a bad experience. Yep, yep, yep. And then there's always the rival. Gotta have the, <laughs> gotta, a rival in there. The one that either that beat him for that spot that he used to yeah. be in or, or they had some childhood together and they were going at like there's always... Yeah, yeah. so I was, I was happy with this one. I didn't, I didn't 100% know how things were going to turn out. Yeah, but that's why you pick them, you know? You yeah. Just, uh, open, uh, broaden your horizon of anime, so... <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty happy. I'd definitely recommend it. Yeah, yeah. I would say that uh, I I like how anime can. I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't. I, I like all sports anime. Because honestly, like I said, the ones I've tried, I've tried to watch, like Kukuro's basketball. Okay. I've tried to watch uh, the Baki Baki boxing one or whatever. Baki the grappler. I don't know. So there's, I don't know what. Maybe it's not Baki. It's, it's, it's a, there was a boxing one on Netflix a, that Avian kept trying to get me to watch. Oh really? Yeah. There's Mega Box. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was it. I don't know. That was but I, I, I was like, I, I like how they can turn <laughs> anime's the ability to turn or you know cells at work like the mundane and something <laughs> yeah, you like that's so the deeper body functions and give them each like an archetype. I, th- I find that I find it funny. Like obviously it can get repetitive, but I do like how it can. How anime can turn just like sports or you know body functions or this into something really really entertaining. Yeah, so I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, that's why sports anime. I mean, yeah, that's why sports anime that'd be like a really good. I just don't know how I can't get into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that sounds perfect. It does, it does. But it's I guess maybe it's because like compared to like other anime, like if you compare it to like you know sort of like a fantasy anime or you know that like it it just doesn't hold up. You know because yeah. while it makes something mundane interesting yeah it doesn't you know something you know interesting becomes really interesting so you know it's sort of like moving from one to the other like you take like you know fantasy and then you know make it even more interesting it's like you know already you know sports are behind fantasy in my book and so mm-hmm. even if you make sports more interesting if i had the option to watch a fantasy that's been you yeah. know i would always pick the fantasy because i like it's just more yeah. it's a more fun I can genre see the sports in real life yeah, like I can Which are also just as dramatic. Yeah, yeah, like I can go watch football and watch Aaron Rodgers, you know, do a yeah. Hail Mary and I'll just be just as pumped and it'll be actually happening. Yeah. You know? 
So I think that's the kind of thing that hurts sports animes is they're based off something that's already here and you can already watch. Like, you know, it'd be fun watching a boxing anime, but it'd also be fun watching Muhammad Ali, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather watch Muhammad Ali. I think one of the reasons this show is good, though, is because I I saw competitions of sports right after watching this at rock climbing. They're like three hours long. Yeah, yeah. They're like six players, and I'm like, well, let's just beat it up. The anime does its job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think, yeah, like you're talking about, I think it... The anime does this sport justice because, at least to the average viewer, because yes. it's it's like one of those things like, uh, you know, um, golf or cricket. To me, in terms, you know, things that are slower, mm-hmm. you know, like I'd like to see a golf anime. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool, you know, like having like, the different strikes and everything and like the end of the zone. Like I think it would do really well, whereas I'm just sitting watching golf. It's just, you know, someone else. It's really, yeah, it's not really interesting. It doesn't do it for me. Yeah. You know, like. I mean, yeah, like, I'd like to see a football anime, too. Now, do I think it would be more interesting? I Shield like, 21, I think, is a football anime. Yeah. Maybe a rugby anime. Like, Either one. I've heard. They're similar. I'd like to watch rugby one, too. Yeah. Be, but I think a football anime would be really, you know, you get, like, like, you know, how they each have, like, you know, a vibe scene that's really fast, right? It's, like, super the quarterback, you can, like, slow motion, like, what's going through his head, like, mm-hmm. and boom. Like, oh, I, I see. Really Terraformers football. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know how that would work out. I'm not sure that would go over very well. Uh, that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty, um, how shall we say, uh, controversial anime. I actually really like the anime. You never finished it. No, I saw the first season. I never got to the second. It's so good. The second season is okay. I want to read the manga. Yeah, yeah, that would be something. That and I want to read, uh, yeah, that one and then Chainsaw Man I want to read too. Man. Yeah, apparently that one's really good. And it seems to be really weird, and I like the weird animes. Mm. Like, I like to just apparently it's like one of those where like, there's no good characters, everybody's crazy. Oh yeah, actually I heard. I yeah, I've heard of it. I want to check. I want to. I want to finish up. Well, I want to read Sekirei. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I think the whole thing is completely like in English. The anime has up to what third season? I think so. Yeah. No, I think it might just have two seasons. Okay. I really like Sekiro. <laughs> yeah, hi, yeah. Well, that was one of the. I was one of the first you watched. That was the first one I like. I watched that I did. That you, yeah, that you were you know, like, holy crap, this looks like anime, yeah. not like obviously Dragon Ball Z. You know, yeah, I watched like all those, but like that was the first time I'm like, oh, this is. Yeah. Picture the big tits on the screen. <laughs> that was really the only reason yeah, well, I picked. Yeah, it was hot. Yeah, yeah I was like, you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things when you're a teenager, it draws you in. Edgy anime is like again. That was like all the half the starting anime. It was like high school, the dead. Uh, Actually, Sekirei. I went Sekirei, high school, the dead, and then Fate. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> you really line them up. And those are basically like some of my favorite anime even now. Yeah, so what did I, I think it was Science Gate. Science Gate was pretty early for me. I really like Science Gate. I love that. That whole, like, that was the one that, like, got me when it was, like, super emotional. Like, I didn't, like, again, I watched Sekiro in, like, high school. Today. I went to my, yeah. Oh, it's all fun. And I watched Science Gate. I was like, damn, when he keeps trying to go back and say, yeah. all the other spoilers, if you guys didn't know. But, yeah, he keeps trying to go back and say, I was like, dude, I'm crushed. <laughs> like, God, he's, like, going to say, like, that, that right there. Whew. Whew. Science Gate was good. I haven't yeah. seen the new, like, Science Gate Zero. I haven't seen it either. I don't know if I can ever be replaced like the original Science Gate, like the head scientist. <laughs> <You're in Cuba. laughs> I'm excited too. Um, yeah. So we can talk about like um, what anime, what so a couple anime that we want to still talk about. I know I want to watch Juju Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen. I've heard that one's like amazing. Yeah, oh yeah. Everyone's like, I actually got to work. He's just like not as big of an anime watcher as I am. He's like, bro, you've got to check this out. That oh myself. yeah. I think it's probably one we're gonna want to watch. Still, I'm going on. Yes, yeah, so that I think. Hopefully, that doesn't finish the same time Attack and Titan because I, I think we should do both. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely Attack and Titan the next season, especially since it's animated by the new studio. Yeah, yeah I want to see what that's like. That'll be interesting. Yep, I don't know. <laughs> I'm super season. excited to finish it though. God, yeah, I can't. I just remember. I think it was what 2013 when the first when it came one came out. out. No, because I think we were still going to high school when. It would have been senior year, yeah. But we went. Did we go to the convention that year? Yes, we that did. Is new, we did. It? Yep, because I remember because that's back when you lived over past Midvale. Okay. Because I went over there. Oh yeah, yep, yeah. And you and that was the year your mom drove us. I want to say. I don't. Because yeah, I think that was the year your mom took us. Was it? Yep. Because that was when you were your mom. Just, yep, that was that year. Because I didn't have my car license at that time. Not yet. So. Okay. Yeah, that was the year your mom took us. Yep, and that was the first one we saw the dude with the. Must have been because I actually watched and I thought so I actually watched all Attack and Titan with my mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was like one of those anime that I was like, this could be something we can watch. Because I've watched a couple of anime with my mom, Feeling Fate, 
I always yeah. have to be like, which, which one's the not? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard to pick an anime to yeah. pick it. I don't know. I, I haven't been able to watch any. I showed my parents a little bit of Death Note, but like, it's hard. It's hard, it's hard for like older people to, like get into it because it's so. There's a lot of like Japanese centric. Yeah. You know, but I actually yeah, watched all of Death Note. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. My parents were like, my dad would just sit there. He's like, oh, see, Japanese word culture. Tell it's all. He would just go on. That's off. Yeah, he just go off about how weird and how you know repressed the Japanese culture. And my mom would just be. You know, because they, they have to watch it in English dub. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so it's not as good. And so, but I showed them the first two episodes and they really liked it. My sister oh, yeah. is definitely can watch I could probably watch Death Note with her, but yeah. Yeah. My, my parents like, yeah. Yeah, I can only watch it um, only a couple of shows, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to choose a show for us to watch, but. Yeah, but yeah, that was the year she took us in with. That was when everyone was dressed up as the survey corps. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> yeah. Was dressed up as the survey corps. Yeah, I, I loved that though. Yeah, that was fun. Titans. And, and yeah, it was, it was good. good. It was a good convention. It was good. I liked it. I'm going to dress up as a rock climber. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all heard this chick Alfred from the next <laughs> Beyond Me? Oh, yeah. Also, uh, when I saw like rock climbing competitions, all the girls wear like yoga pants and a shirt. They don't wear like tiny little shorts. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that might just be Japan's like, be. school. Could be. That's funny, though. <laughs> Although, I honestly, you can see the benefit because obviously you, you're going to be putting, you're not going to wear jeans when you're trying to rock climb in yeah. awkward positions. Yoga pants make sense. Yeah. Although, I, I thought like sh- short shorts would make more sense, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess it depends on, you know, what, yeah. whatever. As long as you have the flexibility, who really cares? Yeah, I'd rather not have clothes. Yeah, if I was doing that, I'd want to I'd wanna have as little restriction as possible. Yeah. Because, you know, you're going to put it in your fucking jacket. Legs. Yeah, I'll put, put a snowsuit snow on. <laughs> that would be a real competition. Climb in fucking snow pants and a jacket. <laughs> With gloves and mittens. You're trying to like... Die of heat. Yeah, yeah he's stroking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd have to do it like... Have to, like put, put you in like a 32 degree. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, yeah. in the middle of summer. Yeah, yeah. then you would really... Yeah, you would die of heat. <laughs> <laughs> you would just get peeled. Well, instead of chalk, you can have a water bottle. Yeah, you can just dump it on yourself. Like, fucking Christ. <laughs> That's, That's how you lose weight, weight right there. there. Yeah. Sweat it all out of you. <laughs> the water. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. So that's basically what we got coming up for the anime. Did you have any other stuff? Um, I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Oh, was there something I was gonna? Uh, something to do with Pokemon cards. I was gonna say something about them. Oh, oh yeah. I thought I saw a. Uh, a uh, a first edition um, uh, base set, something like where the original Pokemon cards. I was like, oh, that's cool. How much is this? Hundred thirty thousand dollars. So oh, really? yeah, I'm like, wow. They're like sold. So, so I'm like, all right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Fifty dollars monthly payments for the next two hundred years. <laughs> who needs a house? Yeah, who needs anything? Pokemon cards are a better investment. Yeah, they always go up in value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I think they. I figured it'd be like you know twenty thirty thousand, about hundred. That's a lot. And they had like hundred and fifty watches. Anyway, so yeah, if you're only looking there to buy Pokemon cards, uh, good luck. Yeah. So I was like, I just thought of, you know buy them on the side because I would really play Pokemon. Let's get to play more Yu Gi Oh. But yeah, it was just interesting to see that. And I'll talk more about all that stuff in later episodes. I just thought it was funny to mention. Yeah, too bad we lost that episode. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of fun stuff in that, but that's why it's more more material for the next one. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that was the uh, that was the episode for the day, guys. Thank you for watching. We uh, appreciate if you. Uh, Hopefully, the video's still recording. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> if you enjoy uh, this type of content, you consider liking and subscribing. You know, follow us on all social medias. Uh, yeah. Do nerd things at whatever. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to put. I'll have to put the links. Yeah, because we don't actually have a, like an Instagram or Facebook. No, for this we just make one. We just have yeah. So yeah, we shout it out. But yeah, yeah subscribe on whatever. We're on every yeah. We're gonna be podcast on podcast platform. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be everywhere, even on OnlyFans. So <laughs> Watch our OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what the real good sell rate. Not even us. We just have really attractive women. And just, <laughs> that's how we're gonna get all the subscribers. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye.